Good evening once again. It's John. I just played Immaculate Grid number 237. If you want to uh, check that out, uh, featured no teams. Those are always exciting. Um, I am going to play grid number 15 now, going back in time, playing some of the, uh, the old grids that I never got to the first time because I hadn't heard of Immaculate Grid yet. Um, I'm going to do a timed version and a rarity score version as I've been doing as of late. Um, let's see here. Let's just start sharing the screen. Let's see, I guess I need to share this whole screen. Fix Mac here. Gonna play grid number 15. Click and play. All right. Let's see, Ricky Henderson. Oh, he also works here, but so does Mookie Betts. And so does Eddie Murray down here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ripken will work here. Uh, Ortiz has to work here. I'm sure Griffey works up here. Ichiro. Uh, let's see. Another gold glove. Uh, Bellinger's got to work. And then... Come on, just need anyone. Uh, Jackie Jensen. I shouldn't have used that one. I should have used Carl Stramski. I just thought of it as I was typing it in. That's what, what was the one I was going to go with. I guess I was I was 53, 52-ish seconds. It says 57 right now. Rate score of 181 is not surprising. Uh, went with some obvious picks here. But yeah, I should have gone with... Uh, uh, well, I, I, there's a lot of people I could have gone with here. If I'd gone with like Adrian Gonzalez or Carl Crawford and uh, or David Price, and I could have had bets here. I mean, there's a bunch of people that work. There's Yastrzemski will work because I've been setting a rule. But Jackie Jensen is like a go-to rarity gold glover. So we'll see if I can have a – well, I'll, I'll easily have a better rarity score, but I am not. I don't think I'm going to get beat 0.08. Um, I wonder if Jimmy Pierce all ever won a rookie of the year. Or excuse me, a gold glove, not rookie of the year. Uh, Henderson taking 7% for the Dodgers and Mariners. <laughs> not exactly his best-known teams. But uh, let's do this. You get to see me, and now you get to see that grid. Was it grid? You just type in grid 15 or something. There it is. I'm surprised it saves. I guess I haven't closed incognito mode, so that's why it's saving it. So now we're going for low rarity score. Now we want something low. Silver Slugger for the Mariners. I'm feeling Brett Boone is going to be still single digits, I think. Takes 5%. But, I mean, I, I don't think there's a ton of options there. Griffey, Martinez, Ichiro, uh, maybe Nelson Cruz as of late. I'm not sure. Um, let's see. What do, we, what do we think of uh, for this one? What do you think of Milton Bradley? Actually, is that going to be better than? Yeah, let's go. Let's go with that. Let's go Milton Bradley. That's two percent. Okay, it's a little bit of a surprise. Um, and then yeah, down. Here for Dodgers and Orioles. Let's get Mike Morgan. He goes point two. Uh, I think Paul Blair is a pretty good one over here. And a gold glover for the Mariners. Huh. Yeah, that, that's going to be a tough one. Olerud, maybe? Did Olerud want a gold glove? I have to keep closing these ads. They keep coming up. Uh, let's see. Boston Silver Slugger. What do we think of uh, Tony Armas Sr.? That one. Goes 0.4. That's pretty good. Um, let's see if we can... Get a good Reggie Smith is someone I've used before. 
Um, oh, I think uh, Willie Banks, who I've used before, I think he works. Yeah, he goes 0 0.01. So he's my best one so far. I need a good silver slugger for the Orioles. So probably not, yeah, I mean, not, obviously not Ripken and, uh, oh, I got one. How about the 2004 batting champion, Melvin Mora? He goes sub one. It's pretty good. I really should have used Jensen. Um, Let's see. Other gold glovers for the Mariners besides Griffey uh, and Ichiro. I don't want to use them. Mike Cameron, he'll work. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anyone. Oh, you know who I think works? Let's get Mark Langston. Excellent. I'm trying to think. Was there a, a good fielding pitcher for the Red Sox? Because that's a good option. People don't really think of good fielding pitchers when they're thinking of gold gloves, except if it's Greg Maddox or maybe Jim Cat. Uh, I think of Rick Ruchel because it was huge and I think it's funny. Um, Pearsall is the name that's coming to mind, but I, I don't have a ton of confidence that he actually won a gold glove. I think Dwight Evans was winning gold gloves plural. Uh, I know Wade Boggs definitely won at least one gold glove. Um, not sure about Ellsbury. He kind of had a noodle arm. So did Damon, for that matter. So I'm not really sure about those guys. Yastrzemski is the only person in the string of great Red Sox left fielders. I think he was... Actually, I don't know about Mike Greenwell, but... Yastrzemski definitely won a lot of gold gloves. I'm, I'm more or less just dancing around the horn here. Adrian Beltre played one season in Boston. He's one of the best fielding third basemen of all time. So, But I don't know if he ever... I don't know if he won the gold glove in the 2010 season. His competition would have been uh, probably Longoria for that. But I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure on him. And then Pearsall's the the one that just comes to mind because of the thing my dad told me about how the manager told Pearsall to basically just you're in between Jackie Jensen and Ted Williams, just catch the ball. And then I find out Jackie Jensen won a gold glove the year he won MVP. You know what? <sighs> I'm not paid to, paid to do this, so let's try out Jimmy Pearsall. Let's see if he was a good fielder. Indeed, Pearsall did win a gold glove. He got point one for me there, and so I end up with a rarity score of 10. I think Boone might have been a, the right call there. There's only seven choices, and he takes five. And I mean, who else? Well, I think it's just going to be... Well, yeah, Julio Rodriguez... Nelson Cruz, I mentioned, Ichiro, Boone, Edgar wins both DH and third base, fun fact, and A-Rod. No love for Dick Allen. All right. Well, another, uh, another fun one in the books. I'll get this uploaded. Thanks a lot for uh, playing, and we'll be back at tomorrow. Peace.